Hello, in today's video we will see how to crochet this honeycomb stitch. Normally when you hear honeycomb stitch uh, you associate it with Tunisian crochet, but this one is entirely made uh, in classic crochet. For this sample in yellow I used uh, some saffron uh, from Drops uh, and a 3.5mm hook, but uh, to make it clear on the video we will be seeing how to crochet a smaller sample uh, with uh, some iron weight yarn, I use this paint box uh, yarn simply iron and a 5.5mm uh, hook. Let's get started. The stitch pattern uh, works in multiple of six, so we will start by setting up a first row with um, a multiple of six half double crochet stitches. In this case I will uh, use 24 stitches, so I'm going to chain 25. Once you have uh, the 25 chains of or a multiple of 6 plus 1 for turning, we are going to make our half double crochet starting from the second chain from the hook. Um, if you don't want to uh, make uh, regular chains, you can always make a foundation half double crochet row. And I will link the uh, video tutorial for that in one of the corners of the screen. All right, uh, row one is complete. Now for row two, we are going to chain one. This chain one doesn't count as a stitch and we turn our work and we simply have double crochet across. So since this chain one doesn't, start, uh, doesn't count as a stitch, we start really from the very first stitch and uh, continue with half double crochets across. And row two is also complete. Uh, so these first two rows were really just uh, to set up our work for uh, before starting the actual pattern. So the real honeycomb pattern is going to start with row uh, three. And to start with row three, we chain again just one and we turn. This chain one doesn't count as a stitch and th this chain one is going to be the same uh, for the old pattern it is not going to count as a stitch anywhere. So to start, Row 3, we make a first half double crochet in the first stitch and then um, we are going to make a front post uh, treble in the corresponding stitch two rows below. So we yarn over twice for the treble and then we are going to work our treble around the post of the second stitch from row 1. So we exclude the uh, first stitch because we already worked it and we go around the second one here. So we go to the front of the work and we insert a hook under the post of that half double crochet. Then we yarn over, we pick up a loop and then we yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And the treble is complete, you see, and it's on the surface, it's around the post of that stitch two rows below. Now we have double crochet five starting so here on the back we skip this uh, stitch which is the second stitch from uh, uh, row two okay because we already made the treble so we skip that stitch and we have double crochet in the next one so we make one Then two, three, four, and five half double crochets. Now in the next stitch, we are going to work again a treble, a front post treble, in the corresponding stitch uh, two rows below. So we yarn over twice for the treble. So since it's difficult to understand, you know, which uh, stitch is exactly the corresponding one below, it's easier if you count uh, from this stitch, you know, you count uh, five stitches from this uh, first treble that we made. So it's one, two, three, four and five. So these five stitches correspond to the half double crochets that we just made. And we know that we need to work our front post treble in the around the next stitch. So this one. So we go to the front of the work, we insert the hook under the post of the stitch and we complete the treble as normal. 
and we repeat uh, again. We skip the stitch that is behind that uh, front post treble. We yarn over and starting from the next one, we are going to half double crochet five. After you have the five half double crochets, again we repeat one treble, front post treble, worked in the corresponding stitch two rows below. So again we count one, two, three, four and five and we make our front post treble around the post of the next, of the sixth uh, stitch. And then we skip the one, the stitch uh, behind the treble and we half double crochet five. And again another treble. So one, two, three, four, five, and it's around this stitch here. And then again we skip that stitch behind. So now we only have four stitches left to work. So we make four half double crochets. Okay, and this is uh, row three. Now you see that since the front post tables are on this side, row three also is our right side. And all the, the pattern is going to be worked always on the rows that are on the, on the right side. The wrong side instead is always going to be the same and it's always uh, a chain one, turn and after double crochet across. So from now on, like the wrong, we won't see the wrong sides because we will just uh, assume, you know, it's always the same. We just chain one turn and after double crochet, in this case 24 or uh, as many stitches as uh, you uh, started your work with. All right, once you're done with uh, row four, we can chain one and turn. And now we are again on the right side, so we need to work uh, our uh, onycomb pattern. So for row five, we start by making four half double crochets. So we make one, two, three, and four. And now we have to make a weird stitch, which is called front post, double treble, two together working around these trebles from the from two rows below so let's break it down what does it mean so it's a front post meaning that we will be working around the post of these stitches and it's uh, a double treble because so for the treble you would um, yarn over twice now we add another yarn over so on we have one two three uh, turns so four loops on the hook so it's going to be a front post, double treble, two together. So it means that this double treble, we will work one here and one here and close them together. So let's start uh, slowly. So we have these uh, three yarn overs. We're going to insert the hook under the post of this treble from uh, row three. So uh, yarn over and pick up a loop and then like uh, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through to your novel pull through two, three times and the stitch is not complete yet you see we still have uh, two loops on the hook so we don't complete we don't close this stitch instead we yarn over three times to make the next uh, double treble around the next um, treble stitch from row three so we go under that post we yarn over and pick up a loop And then we yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, three times. And now you see that we have these two 
double trebles that we can close together. So we yarn over and we pull through all three loops on the hook. And we formed a sort of a roof above these two uh, trebles. Now we are going to skip the stitch which is behind uh, this uh, weird uh, treble together. So we skip one stitch and we work five stitches working starting from the next um, from the next stitch. So one we work uh, five half double crochets, sorry. Two three four and five. Now again we work another one of these stitches so front pause double treble two together around this treble and the next one because you see when we make these uh, five stitches we end up in the middle of this uh, little uh, box okay so let's see it once more we yarn over three times three times we go under the post of this treble pick up a loop and then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two three times then yarn over three times, go under the next treble, pick up, pick up a loop and then yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull two through, yarn over pull two through. Okay and now we have three loops remaining on the on the hook, we yarn over and pull through all three of them to close these two stitches together. And again we skip the stitch which is uh, behind this, uh, this stitch we yarn over and we start making five half double crochets from the next stitch. So it's one half double crochet, two, three, four, and five. Now, again, we repeat another one of these uh, front pause double treble two together so yarn over three times insert it insert the hook under the post of the previous uh, treble yarn over pull through two three times then yarn over three times insert the hook under the post of the uh, last treble from row three and let's close this stitch and then close these two stitches together again skip the stitch immediately behind it go into the next stitch and start making five half double crochets two three four and five. So now notice that we have two stitches remaining on this row and we're going to make only one, one more leg let's say on this side and it's going to be a, a slightly different stitch because it's going to be a front post uh, treble half double crochet two together. So it means that we are going to start with a front post double treble. So we yarn over three times and we work around the post of this stitch one more double treble uh, crochet so okay so once we have these two hooks on the on the hook now we work uh, this stitch together with the half double crochet so it means that we yarn over and in the next stitch which is the semi last stitch of this uh, previous row we we go into that stitch we pick up a loop and so now this is this counts as a half double crochet and we close it together with all the loops that we have on the hook. So you see we have four uh, loops on the hook. We close all of them together. So we yarn over and pull through four. And now we work the last half double crochet in the last stitch. And this was uh, row five. 
Now, as we said, the wrong side of the pattern is always the same, so we chain one turn and after double crochet across. Once you're done with uh, row six on the wrong side, we chain one and turn and we get ready to start uh, another row, row seven of the pattern. So in this case, we are going to start with four half double crochets. Two, three, and four. This is the same offset that we left at the beginning of uh, row five. Now we're going to make a, a front post treble working around this stitch below, okay? This, uh, well, long name stitch. So we yarn over twice. We go with the hook under the post of these two stitches, so both of them. Yarn over and pull up a loop and then complete the stitch with a yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. So we uh, we made a sort of, uh, you know, like a, a straight leg up. Now we skip the stitch which is immediately uh, behind the treble because that's, you know, like we already have that stitch on the hook. So we skip that and starting from the next stitch we have double crochet five. And now we repeat a front post uh, treble worked under these two uh, stitches. And well, it's just one stitch, but it's got uh, two legs. So we yarn over twice. We go with the hook under the post of these uh, two stitches close together. Yarn over, pull, uh, pick up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and the treble is complete. And now again, we skip the stitch behind it. We yarn over and we have double crochet five starting from the next. Two. Let's make one more front post treble around this uh, stitch below. Again, we skip the stitch behind and after double crochet five. Four and five. Now, we still need to make a one uh, treble, front post treble, around the leg of this stitch. So we are over twice, we go around this uh, last uh, double treble that we have here and we make a front post treble in there. Skip the, uh, skip the stitch behind it and work one last half double crochet in the last stitch. And this was row 7. Now for row 8 is on the on the wrong side so we just chain one and after double crochet across so once we get at the end of row eight let's chain one and turn and let's get ready to uh, make a row nine of the onicom pattern so in this case uh, what we need to do is to complete this half uh, let's say onicom cell that we have here so to do that we are going to Start with one half double crochet. So the first stitch is very easy, it's one half double crochet. But in the next one, we will have to work up another weird stitch, which is half double crochet and uh, a front post uh, double treble um, close together. So it means that we will start with half double crochet in this stitch. Okay, so we yarn over, insert the hook into that stitch, yarn over, and pick up a loop. But then instead of closing this half double crochet, we will yarn over three times, okay, so for a, a double treble, and we 
work this double treble around the post of this uh, treble from uh, row uh, 7. So we yarn over and pick up a loop and then we yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2 and yarn over, pull through 2. At this point now you have the three loops uh, from the half double crochet and the loop from the front post uh, double treble. And we are going to close all these loops together so we yarn over and we pull through 4. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Now we are going to crochet 5 half double crochets but this time we are not going to skip the stitch uh, behind uh, this treble because actually we made a half double crochet in there, okay? So directly after we go and we start our uh, five half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now we repeat uh, the stitch that we saw for uh, row 5. So we make a front post um, double treble two together around the, this treble, the one that is uh, before, and the one that is after the place where we are right now. Okay, so we yarn over three times, go into under the post of this treble from row 7. Yarn over and pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, then we yarn over again three times, go under the post of the next treble, yarn over, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now we can yarn over and close all these three loops together. Then skip the stitch that is behind, so skip one stitch and from the next half double crochet 5. And 5. And we repeat again one of these stitches, okay, working around this treble and this treble. Then we skip one stitch behind and we have double crochet 5 again. We make one last uh, front post double treble two together around this treble and this treble. Now skip one stitch, so here we are at the end of the row, we skip one stitch to the back and we only have four half double crochets to work. So we make four half double crochets. And we can now chain one, turn and work a simple half double crochet row on the wrong side. So once you are at the end of row 10, chain 1 and turn and let's start uh, working uh, row 11. So this is the last uh, row of the, of the pattern and it's basically going to be the same as uh, row 3 with the only difference that the, uh, front, uh, the front post treble crochets are going to be worked around uh, 
the, the stitches that we have here. So we start with a half double crochet and then we work immediately one treble, front post treble around this leg of this stitch. So we yarn over twice, we go around this leg and we make a treble. Now we skip um, one stitch to the back and we half double crochet five. Now yarn over twice and work a front post treble by going under these two stitches. Well, actually it's one stitch again. I say two just because they are two stitches work together. Skip one stitch to the back and after book crochet five. Again, a front post treble under these two. Skip one. And after we crochet five. And then we make one last front post treble working around this stitch. And we can complete the row by we, we skip one and we have double crochet four. And that's it. So basically now, uh, from now on, you repeat the, row, the rows that we already saw. So because this was the equivalent of row two, so basically uh, of row three, sorry. So you just uh, keep repeating the same pattern from uh, row four to row uh, 11 that we just saw over and over again until you reach the length uh, that you want. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial. If you did, don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.